The Vengi or Vengenadu is a region spread over the mandals of Godavari and Krishna districts. The capital city of Vengi is located at Pedavegi near Aluru. This area was part of Kalinga until that kingdom was conquered by Emperor Ashoka of the Mauryan Empire in the mid-3rd century BC. After the Mauryan Empire collapsed in 185 BC, the region was dominated by the Satavanas, who were succeeded in Vengi by the Andhra Ikshvakas. Around 300 AD, the Andhra Ikshvakas were replaced by the Salinkayanas, who were vassals of the Pallavas of southern India. In the late 5th century, the Salinkayanas were annexed by the Vishnukundinas. King Pulaksan II of the Chalukya conquered Vengi from the Vishnukundinas in the early 7th century and installed his brother Kubya Vishnuvardhana as the viceroy. He eventually established the Eastern Chalukya dynasty. The Eastern Chalukyas were first conquered by the Cholas under Raja Raja Chola I and subsequently became very closely aligned to the Chola Empire through marital alliance between the Cholas and the Eastern Chalukyas. This insulated the Eastern Chalukyas from the interference of the Western Chalukyas who sought to make the Eastern Chalukyas as their subordinates. During the reign of the Kalothunga Chola I the Vengi Kingdom got absorbed into the Chola Empire. Satavahana period The Vengi territory was part of Ashoka's empire and Satavanas were the Mauryan feudatories administering the area. Following Ashoka's death and the decline of the Mauryas, Satavahana Simuka established the Satavahana dynasty, which came to include even the Magadha and Bengal at its height. The Satavanas lasted for the next 400 years after which the Pallavas and eastern Chalukyas took control of the kingdom. Vengi Chalukyas The Eastern Chalukyas of the 7th and 8th century, were a branch of the Chalukyas of Badami. Pulaksan II, the renowned ruler of Chalukyas conquered Vengi at a battle near Aluru in 624 from Vishnukundinas and installed his brother Kubya Vishnuvardhana as its ruler. His dynasty, known as the Eastern Chalukyas, ruled for a century. Vishnuvardhana extended his dominions up to Srikakulam in the north and Nellore in the south. They had faced many wars for the next three centuries from Rashtrakutas and others. The western Chalukya king Satyashraya tried to amalgamate the two dynasties, but was not successful due to the constant battles with the Paramaras and the Cholas. To counter the interference of the western Chalukyas, Rajaraja supported Saktavarmanai, an eastern Chalukya prince who was in exile in the Chola country. He invaded Vengi in 999 to restore Saktavarman to the eastern Chalukya throne. Saktavarman finally got his throne back in 1002 and consented to recognize the Rajaraja overlordship. <laughs> Later Cholas Vengi was part of kingdom of Later Cholas during the 12th century. The Western Chalukyas under the king Vikramaditya VI occupied Vengi in 1118, but the Cholas under Vikrama Chola regained Vengi from Chalukya monarch Someshvara III in 1126 27 with the help of the Velanati Chodas of Sandavalu. <laughs> Later kingdoms Between 1135 and 1206, several other minor kingdoms ruled over parts of Andhra Pradesh accepting the authority of the Velanati Cholas. By 1208, Vengi was part of Kakatiya Empire as subordinates to Karkatiyas until their downfall in 1323. Later Vengi became part of the Vijayanagara Empire in the 16th century. Literature <inaudible> 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 Vengi has occupied a prominent place in the history of Andhra Pradesh since the time of Eastern Chalukyas. They patronized Telugu. Since the time of the Eastern Chalukya Gunaga Vijayaditya, inscriptions show Telugu prose and poetry, culminating in the production of literary works. Later on, in the 11th century under the patronage of the then Vengi king, Rajaraja Narendra, the great epic, Mahabharata was translated partly by his court poet, Nanaya. <laughs> <laughs> 